Hello my good lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm pretty excited for this video because I thought I'd go ahead and sit down and share with y'all five indie products that I've been obsessed with recently. I love doing this video, I think this is the third time I've done it and it's really nice to just choose five products, not anything overwhelming, just talk about some indie brands that I've been loving and some favorites that I've been using constantly. I have two lip products, a foundation, highlighters, and some eyeshadows to talk about today so let's just go ahead and jump right on in. Okay, so we'll start off with a highlighter formula that I have been absolutely obsessed with recently. This feels maybe a little bit like overkill because I talked about it in my, I did a review roundup not that long ago where I talked about these, but I don't know if I made it clear just how obsessed I am with the Lethal Cosmetics highlighters. I feel like they are so, so beautiful and it's crazy because when you swatch them, they, I mean, they just, they don't seem like that much. This is the shade Skater, sca Skater, Skater, <laughs> Scatter, and it's kind of like an icy lavendery purple. That's the shade that I have blended into my skin today. And then I have also the shade Ionic, which is like a really, really soft, rosy pink. So there's this finger stain. So there's what they look like. And I feel like they look fine. Like they don't look bad, but they just don't look super, super impressive on first swatch. But I feel like blended into the skin, they just look so glowy. It's like, yeah, you can see some skin texture because I'm a human with skin and skin has texture, but... It's so, so beautiful. I especially love applying them with the Wet n Wild P77 brush. I feel like it just blends the shades in so well. And the more you blend, the glowier it gets and the longer you wear them throughout the day. Again, I feel like it just continues to stay super, super glowy. They don't wear off throughout the day for me at all. And they don't end up looking powdery or cakey or dry because I do have drier skin. So I'm super, super obsessed with these. And I feel like when I bought them, I was kind of like, oh yeah, it's lethal. I love lethal. They're coming out with the highlighter. I'm going to try it. Like it was just kind of routine, like trying something from a brand that I really like. But I'm pleasantly surprised, pleasantly impressed with just how much I really, really, really like them. They're probably one of my favorite highlighter formulas I've tried in a hot minute because I got the ColourPop uh, Horse and Carriage and the You Idiots, You Fools, You Imbeciles. I got the two uh, Nabla highlighters, but the ones that I just can't stop using and thinking about would definitely be these two. So these are at the top of my list for an indie product that I'm obsessed with right now. All right, so next I've got two very different lippies. The first one is the Kaleidos Lucid Lip, and this is the shade Mesmerize. I did a whole lip swatch video on their Lucid Lips and their lip tonics with my friends Angelica Hair, or Angelica Harris, <laughs> Angelica Nikas, and Karen Harris, and we all did lip swatches and kind of gave our thoughts on them, and I feel like I liked all the shades overall, but the one that I continuously keep going back to is this shade. I feel like it kind of looks kind of like a darker mauve or mauve, whatever you want to say. I had someone in my comments the other day very upset about the way I say mauve, but I feel like it looks like a darker shade. However, it does kind of come off a little bit more sheer, and it's just one of those lip glosses that looks super, super juicy and wet and delicious and... Everything that you want in a lip gloss while also still not being sticky. I just really, really love the color. I love the formula. The other two lip glosses they have are like shimmery, glittery, toppery type shades. Like this one, for example. You can see it's not like a regular like satiny color. I don't know how to describe it. And I like these two, they're fine, but I really, really hope that they expand and come out with more shades like this formula because I really, really love it. So if you were interested in any of their lip products of all of them, if you have similar preferences to me, this is the one that I would personally recommend. It's the one that I keep using and I really, really like it. And then the other lip product that I have here to talk about is my go-to red lip. This is Menagerie Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Catfight. So I think I wore this um, for a holiday look in a video I did sometime in December. And I was like, oh my gosh, I did not realize 
how beautiful of a red this is and I've worn it like four times since then and I feel like that's a lot for a red liquid lipstick for me especially because I just always reach for nude shades but it just has this like it's still a bright red but it has this depth to it and it just is so flattering and so beautiful and it actually reminds me a lot of my favorite old favorite red liquid lipstick which was the cream lip stain in the shade always red 01 from sephora i used to love that red lipstick i would wear it all the time but unfortunately sephora's uh, main line or their own brand is not cruelty free so i eventually used it up and did not repurchase it obviously but this is a really really amazing dupe or alternative for that and you're supporting a small indie brand and it's such a good formula as well. It's not even just the color. The color is amazing on its own, but it lasts so well. I appreciate this formula so much. I actually had a little crazy moment after wearing this for like, I don't know, like eight hours and it not looking bad at all. I just had a little bit of wear off in the middle, but after that, I went on their website and I added every single liquid lipstick from them in my cart. And I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But then I didn't do it because I'm not crazy and I'm trying to be responsible about makeup purchases. But it is such a good formula that it makes me want to own every single shade. And maybe when fall comes around, I'll get some of their other more fall colors. Like I, there's one called Leo that I'm really, really intrigued by. But just overall, my go-to red is definitely cat fight I just I feel like the tones in this are so so nice and even dose of colors is one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas obviously I have so many of them and I have tons of red options from them that I do like but I just feel like something about this shade it just tops everything else all right so this next product is a little bit of a bigger indie brand but still an indie brand nonetheless this is the juvia's place foundation stick in the shade nicaragua that's one that i personally wear so i was sent this entire line in pr which i'm super grateful about but i probably would have ended up purchasing it anyways just because i love stick foundations so much and i feel like this has been my go-to one recently it's what i have on my skin today the shade is kind of funny because, I don't know if you can tell, it looks way darker than my skin tone, but it's what I have on. I mean, my neck might be just a tiny, tiny little bit lighter, but I feel like it goes on kind of darker, and then when I blend it in, it always ends up looking really, really good. I do have a one lighter shade, I think it's Tokyo, which I mean, I could technically use, but I feel like this one just blends into my skin really, really well. Like I said, it's the shade Nicaragua. The reason I really enjoy this is because, for one, it's an indie brand, it's affordable, and it lasts so beautifully on the skin. If you have oily skin, this probably won't be for you, but because I have dry skin, I really, really like it. I feel like at the end of the day, my skin still looks really, really smooth. It still looks, I don't know if I would say flawless per se, but it still looks put together, and it looks so dewy and glowy, especially this with, um, I don't know why I'm holding it so high, this, <laughs> this foundation set with the Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. I feel like these two are a match made in heaven. I just love how these wear. I wore this the other day for a super long day. I want to say maybe like, I don't know, I must have had my makeup on for like 10 hours before I looked in the mirror and I was just like, wow. My skin is so, so glowy, and it really is this foundation mixed with this powder. The powder's not any brand, though, so we're not going to talk about that right now. If you are someone looking for, I would say, like a medium coverage foundation, you like foundation sticks, and you like a really dewy finish, and you have drier or normal skin, I would say that just from my experience, that's what I would recommend this foundation for. I do not use it with a sponge. I feel like it's just a little bit too thick for that. If you're trying to blend it in with a sponge, you're going to be pulling your face and it's just going to take forever to blend out. I really prefer using a foundation brush. The one, it's over here actually, the one I'm obsessed with right now was from BoxyCharm. It just looks like this and it's really, really great for blending stick foundations in. But anything that you have that's really dense like the real techniques contour brush i want to say is a really really great one match made in heaven <laughs> i just wanted to take a moment to rave about this i know i did a first impression 
and I did some swatches of the lightest shades and then I did a review roundup where I'm pretty sure that I included this but I just wanted to give it its own separate moment to say that I am still faithfully continuing to use this stick foundation and I really 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 like it. Alright so last but not least you may have already seen this coming but I just wanted to mention some specific shades from Terra Moons Cosmetics. So I have almost everything I own from them in my little palette here but I just cannot get over their iridescent chameleon shadows. They are so beautiful. So it's these eight shades right here, not this one. This one's a new shade, it's something separate. But the other eight shades I got in a bundle and it was definitely a splurge moment. I wanna say I might've paid like $100 for the eight shades or something like that. Crazy, I know, but they are so, so, so beautiful. And I've been testing them out. I've been testing the Cleona. Oh, there's so many names of different collections in my head. Can't remember what the Cleona ones are called right now. I do like them as well. I've also been testing the Davina Sugar Drops collection, which looks like this. And I've heard, I've heard you guys loud and clear. I know you want to have a full-on comparison between the three different collections, and I will do that. And I'm not trying to jump the gun by saying this, but I think that I prefer the Terra Moons ones the most just because I feel like they're the least messy. Well, I don't know. There's ways to get around it, but just if I'm in a rush or if I'm not paying attention, if I'm not thinking about it, these are the shades that I'm reaching for for my inner corner because for one, they're not messy. They're not like super, super glittery, sparkly. They have some sparkle to them. There's definitely an intensity, but it's not fallout type intense. And the duochromes are ridiculous. They are so strong. It's crazy. I just feel like the way that these look is beautiful. I mean, even the swatches on deeper skin tones, I'm going to leave a picture because it's jaw dropping how beautiful these look on a variety of skin tones. So, I mean, I feel like I mention this every time, but this first shade right here is called Red Giant. It's less intense on camera than it is in person because that's how cameras are, but I hope you can kind of see that shift going on there. There's another one I really like. I want to say this might be called like Lunar or something. Let's see. No, Lightyear, Lightyear. I absolutely love this one. That's my other favorite. So there's what that one looks like. It has like a true yellow to green shift. It's just so, so beautiful and intense. And I also really, really love this one right here, which is called Saturn's Rings. It goes from like a yellowy golden shade to a green. It's like a very intense version of Makeup Geek Voltage except with like an electric green shift going through it and it's so cool because I've taken pictures of these on my inner corner and I'll do the picture like this and on one side from this point of view it'll look yellow and then on the other inner corner because of the way the shift's hitting it it looks green so it looks like I have two different colors in one picture just from like that still moment but as you're moving it around and everything it gets you know, it changes, it changes up. I don't know. I absolutely just love the formula of these. I feel like they're super smooth, easy to work with, and they just reflect shades so, so beautifully. I don't know if you can see that, like, look at that. <laughs> so beautiful. I can't get over it. Like my camera can't even handle how crazy these are. I also love that I feel like between like the entire collection, the all eight shades, there's a really, really good diversity of colors. There's some, there's several actual green shifts. There's like this purpley blue one, there's a red one, and um, this one is kind of a mixture between like a pinky, greeny thing. I have a full video swatching them all in case you're curious to hear my like in-depth analysis of each shade. But I feel like between the eight shades that I got, there was two, I want to say these two here that both have kind of that yellowy green shift except for Saturn's Rings is a little bit more intense. Those are the only two I was kind of like, oh, those are a little bit similar. But overall, I feel like I paid for eight completely different shades basically, which I appreciate. I think that they are going to be coming out with more shades soon. I feel like I saw a sneak peek of that or I'm crazy or I was dreaming. Fingers crossed I wasn't dreaming. So that would be the fifth and final indie product that I'm obsessed with right now. 
that I can't stop using. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me keep doing them, definitely let me know. I appreciate your feedback. If you have an indie product that you are obsessed with right now, please, please share it in the comments. I would love to read and be tempted to buy things or to shop my stash because there's a lot of indie in my stash. I might already own it. I probably already own it, let's be honest. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.